Bella Hotel here, literally in the heart of downtown Islamabad, very, very close to Faisal Mosque and lots of other wonderful places that you'll want to visit when you're here. I'm about to check out. I've been here for two nights. I have tons of tips for you. I'm gonna give you a tour of this boutique hotel and my room and share with you the best way I think to have the perfect stay here at the Bella Hotel. Now, first things first, the exterior and just the, the beauty of this place, the charm, the charm of Bella is what brought me. Now, while I do like staying in the larger, uh, very pampering five-star hotels, I love boutique hotels as well. And this one to me has some of the most charm that I found in any of them. So it's going to be the only one on my list, I believe. When you enter the building, you're instantly enveloped in a feeling of luxury. But this is affordable luxury here at the Bella. The price point, you'll see when you start to uh, search for your dates, it's very affordable, you'll be very happy. Now I stayed in, I, actually I don't know what kind of room I stayed in, I'll, I'll put it here, I'll ask. I don't know if it was just a standard room or deluxe or executive, but I'll, I'll list it here. I'm on a corner and the room itself, I will tell you, I was a little bit worried because, well as you can hear there's some horn honking, I was worried that I wouldn't be able to uh, sleep because of it, but I slept great. They, they have double insulated glass in the rooms and that was just, it was a worry that I needlessly had because I was very, very uh, comfortable in the room. Now, of course, it's missing a bathtub, like almost every place is missing a bathtub, but the bathroom is nice and big and bright and I could get ready in there, which I love. The lighting in hotels isn't always great for putting on makeup, but this one, it was fantastic. but it does have a restaurant. The restaurant itself, I actually never came down to, and since they offered to send everything up, I went up, but the restaurant is pretty, and it looks out onto the garden, making it one of the nicest uh, boutique hotel restaurants that I've seen. Now, with that said, it was kind of hit and miss on the food here, unfortunately, so I would stick to, like, staple items like I did really enjoy the chicken biryani that was great so maybe stick to the Pakistani menu and yeah and I would have breakfast downstairs because they forgot like the extra bits when they brought up my breakfast in the morning um, like the syrup and butter and jam for the French toast and and things like that so to have the best day, I would come down for breakfast in the mornings. Um, I don't normally have breakfast anyway. If you follow my channel, you know that. But I did want to try it and just see what it would be like. So I would say definitely come down for breakfast if you're a breakfast person. That will be a much nicer treat for you. And as I mentioned, the location is just fantastic here. There's a park, let me see if I, I'm, I didn't actually get out to go to the park, but I can probably show you. So if you look just here, there is a park that I see people day and night, uh, like doing, a, it's a running track or a walking track. There's two lanes there and then a grassy garden area in the middle. But if you want to get out for a run or like a power walk, it's a really lovely thing to have a garden, I mean a, a park right next to you where you could do that. I don't remember seeing that at any other property, so that makes this quite special as far as the location. You can also see it's just smack dab in the middle of Islamabad. So as far as location goes, this place is fantastic. I forgot to tell you that this place is now just the second property where I've been truly warm without much of an effort. 
There was a radiator heater in the room that could be turned off or on, and that thing worked like gangbusters. I was warm the entire time I was here and didn't need, you know, two space heaters, and that was fantastic. It's I still find it so strange in a country that gets so cold in the winter time that there isn't either central heating or like here at Bella, the really nice radiator to heat up your room efficiently. It was, it was perfect, you will love that. Now, okay, I do have one. There's one thing that would have made my stay much nicer, which I recommend to you. The, there are, I think, I don't think it's three floors. I think it's a ground floor and two floors. Um, so I would, I would insist on a room on the top floor next time. The first night I slept great. There wasn't anyone in the room above me, I don't think. Last night, the guests above me came back at about, I don't know, 12.45 in the morning. I had set my alarm for 6.30, so I had gone to bed just before midnight. And they were up and making noise and like moving around. I don't know what the hell they were doing, moving around furniture and chairs and things were constantly moving. And I couldn't get back to sleep well until after 3 a.m. So if I had been staying in that room instead of mine, that wouldn't have been a problem. So I would definitely, definitely request a room on the top floor. That would have, if, if, if there hadn't been guests there last night or I had been on the top floor, this would have been a pretty flawless stay aside from the like hit and miss F&B. But there's so many restaurants to try here in Islamabad and so many places, you know, cute cafes. You will just, you should be out of the hotel anyway exploring all of that. All right guys, well I think that's it. This is a really lovely, lovely property. I really enjoyed the room. The bed was comfy all of that i have nothing but love for the charm and grace and like like shabby chic luxury feel of the interiors it it's like the perfect style of boutique hotel for me loved it all right if you have any questions do ask them down below i will see you guys in the next video i hope you have a wonderful morning afternoon evening wherever you are in the world and I will see you in the next one.